Hi, my name is Grace Gonzalez, and I'm a speech-language pathologist here at Encompass. I'm here to talk to you today about articulation. Articulation refers to how children use speech sounds to communicate. We all know a child who might call their special stuffy Mr. Lion, but when should we expect that child to start calling their stuffy Mr. Lion? A speech-language pathologist can help you identify what sounds your child should have for their age and give you strategies to help develop sounds that they might be missing. In speech therapy, you might see your therapist use models of mouths to show your child what their lips, teeth, and tongue should be doing to make a specific speech sound. You might also see your therapist change up the language they're using to talk about the speech sound. So for example, if a child is working on L and we ask the child to make an L sound, they might say W because that's the sound that they're associating with the letter L. If we change our language and teach a new sound, that might be the singing lemur sound, la la la, it helps the child to create a new motor plan and it helps them to put that sound into words more easily. Once your child can produce the speech sound that they're missing, you might see your therapist practice in words or expose that child to their target sound over and over. A great way to do this is through books. You can look for a book that has lots of different L sounds, or you can look for what we would call high frequency words. These are words that kids are going to try to use a lot. So for example, if we're working on L, some good high frequency words to practice could be like or look. These are more valuable to practice than words like maybe leprechaun, because your child's going to try to say them every day. Um, an, uh, another book you could look for is a book that just has those high frequency words repeated over and over. This is a book I love to use when working on the L sound. Um, sometimes I just read it to expose the child to this high frequency word over and over. And sometimes I'll have the child work with me to read the book. So I'll say, when I point to this word, you say like. I'm going to read you this book today to give you an example of just how often this like word appears in the book um, so that you can look for books that might support any sounds that your child is missing. I like this. You like that by Linda Ashman, illustrated by Eve Coy. I like rockets. I like trains. I like tractors. I like cranes. I like swinging. Here I go. I like slides. Look out below. I like bouncing up and down. I like spinning round and round. I like shaggy dogs. Do you? No, they make me sneeze. Achoo! I like cold days. I like hot. I like spiders. I do not. I like climbing really high. I like watching clouds roll by. I like building castles. Look, I would rather read a book. I like baseball. Watch me hit. I like playing tag. You're it. I like sour. I like sweet. I like messy. I like neat. I like autumn. I like spring. Do we agree on anything? Well, I like pizza. Hey, me too. Three for me and one for you. What? No way. There's only four. But I bet I like it more. Two for me and equal share. Oh, all right. I guess that's fair. I really like the veggies best. Here, take mine. I like the rest. We're opposites. You're right, we are. Like big and small, like near and far. But even when we disagree, I like you and you like me.
after I read this book with a kid, I might talk about all the things that they like or the things that I like, just to encourage even more repetition of that high frequency word. If you think your child might be struggling with articulation or making certain speech sounds, feel free to reach out to us at Encompass. We would love to help you.